Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're going to be focusing on this tank, it's my snakehead tank. Um, this started as a pair of dwarf snakeheads, uh, peacock snakeheads, various other names. I moved them into this tank some time ago now, we had them up here. Um, they were quite shy but they eventually came out of the shell and I could hand feed them and everything. But I got them a little bit of a bigger tank, set it up a little bit more... Uh, Sympathetically, shall we say, for the snakeheads, I thought I'd give them a bit more space, give them a little bit more in terms of hiding spaces, but all they've done is hide. So it's got to the point now where they're doing more hiding than anything else. I never see them. It's conflicting because is that a good thing? Is that because they're happy and they like to hide? Or is it a bad thing because I'm not getting any enjoyment out of it? I'm not seeing them interact at all? Are they hiding because they don't like it? Who knows, it's got to the stage where now, I'm, I'm not even sure if I've still got a pair or if I've just got one. I have had to have like, a, set up a GoPro here on this little stage here and set it on it and then I can go away, come back, review the footage and make sure they're actually eating. And for the longest time now, I've only ever seen one at a time. I think I've seen both of them, but separately. Uh, so ra other than getting in there and digging them out and chasing them around, I'm just not seeing them. So I think it's time for a bit of a tank reset rescape call it what you will i'm going to go for a little bit more of a, a a bear theme still give them somewhere that they can hide but not as many opportunities to dig and disrupt everything because they do like to dig i didn't know that was a thing um but most of all because i'm concerned about them the main reason for my concern is because this is the tank over here right against the wall in my fish room uh, a good what 15 feet that way from over here to the end of the fish room where i've got the curtains that keep all the heat in that's a good 15 feet. And out here's the garage with the, this bit we don't talk about because it's so messy, but out here, uh, out to the outside. And last week I caught, I caught, I wasn't, wasn't doing it on purpose. I found one of the snake heads there all dried up, all crusty, and I thought, oh my God, what's happened here? Uh, we were out in the garden doing some work, so I called the wife in, we went all the way in, had a look, the lid was still on the tank. I thought, I don't know how this has happened. She couldn't believe me that a fish would make it out that far. Talked about it for 10 minutes, came back out, and the fish had moved to down here. It was still alive. So it moved from all the way up there to down there in about 10 minutes. So I scooped it up from here, put it back in the tank, and yeah, held it there for a bit, and fine went back to its normal business. Really, that was the final straw for me. I thought if he doesn't like it that much, we'll give it a rescape. Um, so let's go on with that. So I've managed to get everything out. And unfortunately, there's only one fish in there. Um, I've had a good look around behind the tanks, underneath on the floor, everywhere. I cannot find a body of another fish anywhere. Don't know whether that means this one's eaten it or, and a few weeks time I'll find it randomly out in the garden somewhere if it's made a long trip out. So we have to reset the clock on disasters. Um, yeah, not good, not good. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do on this. This tank has a lip all the way around. I have a lid which fits tightly to that lid. And literally the only gap here is here so as I can get a hose in to do water changes and things like that. I leave the water quite low down. Not good enough, the fish still escaped. All right, status update. We have cleared everything out. It's done massive water change. It's still a bit cloudy because I'm still messing around with things. But yeah, so we've got one snakehead down here in the corner to be very sorry for himself or herself. I think we're going to go with a bit of a simple scape. Still, I want to have something in there that it can hide behind if it feels not happy about something. I don't want to stress the fish out just so as I get to see what's going on. So we're going to go for a very simple hard scape and monitor the situation. So that's what's next. I'm just going to put in maybe a couple of rocks and a piece of wood, something that it can hide behind and get out of the way uh, if it's not happy and just monitor it over the next few weeks and see if I can figure out what's going on. Or if you guys, if you've got any more experience, let me know whether it's happy. Well, am I doing the right things? I don't know. Figuring it out as we go along, I guess. And then I'm just doing regular maintenance in the rest of the, the fish room. So water changes all around. I'm doing Humphrey's tank at the moment. Look what I found in here. So I'm changing out Humphrey's tank and found half a stair by Corey. 
it's their bag of Oreos that are in that tank. So I'm. Oh, he's eating it now. I'm like a fish killing machine. Why are all my fish trying to get desperately away from the tanks that I put them in and into other tanks or onto the floor or whatever the hell it is? So now I'm thinking, is that snakehead jumped out of that tank into Humphrey's tank and he's had the little blighter, just like he's had that stair by that's now gone. <sighs> Never ends. I'm also not 100% convinced I like the light sand in Humphrey's tank. Or, if I can get this out without being eaten alive. Look over here. Haha, <laughs> I fooled you. That's what I, have to, that's what I have to resort to to get things out of his tank. But I'm, I'm not sure about this, so I'm thinking of swapping this over to black sand, maybe. He's not even eating it, he's just playing with it now. Jesus Christ. Stop playing with my emotions. That's a friend. Don't eat friends. Anyway, right, clean these filters out and maybe try some black sand. See if you like that. Looks a bit better. What do you think? Humphrey seems to like it. Um, set to work rearranging it already. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. As for the snakehead tank, you can see him just down there in the bottom corner. So I've left it like that. It's quite a sparse arrangement. I've got a few rocks, a bit of wood, so he's got something to hide behind if he wants there, but more than half of the tank is open. That rock there is just holding the filter down, so it didn't want to stay down after I cleaned it. I'm going to leave it like that for a while, see if I can monitor what's going on. Um, ultimately, I did want a pair of these, but if I can't keep them happy, that's not good enough. So we'll see if we can sort that out. Like I say, if you've got any tips, feel free to leave them down below. Humphrey's tank over there, I think that's looking a bit better. Um, then we've got the discus, the angels, the stairbys, the rainbows and the pea puffers. The pea puffer tank I've just started shifting around so it's all cloudy as well. So there we go, just a couple of updates. So some of the things I've got going on in the fish room, I think the big takeaway from this is I need to spend more time in here. Um, there's a few tanks I've had to deep clean because they've not been properly cleaned in a while. And I can't shy away from it. I have lost a lot of fish recently. I don't think they're all to do with neglect. In fact, I don't think any of them are to do with neglect, but you know, I have to rule that out. So I have to make sure I'm keeping on top of everything. Spend a bit more time in the fish room bit more time just watching, if not messing about with tanks. Understanding the fish behaviour, it's a big part of the hobby, making sure that they're happy and that they're thriving more than anything else. So we will do that. If this is your kind of thing, every Friday at 9pm UK time we do a live stream, you can ask me any questions you want. I'm going to start doing some streams from the fish room itself, um, so I can show you the fish in real time. Um, and come and join me there, if not, click that subscribe button, anyway, it helps. Give me a like, give me a dislike, all, all counts, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!